Okay, uh, this is the second part of the video orientation video. So, if students have not uh, watched the first part, please do so. Uh, otherwise, uh, they will not understand what I'm discussing about. Okay, the next item that I would like to uh, discuss is about Discord tutorial. Please uh, download this uh, Discord information. Okay, uh, I'm going to use this uh, Discord app throughout the semester. Uh, I'm mainly over there all the time, right? So it is important that students set this Discord in their cell phone or in the not cell phone in their computers. Okay, so here is the information about how to set it up. All right, so. The, the lab assistant is available to, uh, from the lab assistant are available Monday to Friday from 8 to 5 p.m. So if for somehow they are not available, please post the discussion and he or he or she will usually respond as soon as possible. All right. So. Let me show you what is this Discord all about, okay? And the information how to set it up is in there, right? Here is a Discord. In case students have not used this uh, messages before, so please install this, all right? Uh, this is my name, right? I usually turn it on during my office hour, so let me see. Here I online that mean i'm available online uh, sometime if i'm busy grading or have a meeting i usually put it on available invisible or maybe idle right so if you see me online please uh, shoot me uh, uh, text messages or ask question and i will respond to your question as as soon as possible uh, we have three lab assistants here, right? Uh, well, the lab assistants are not available right now because I'm making this recording uh, during spring break. So we have three lab assistants. Let me see. Uh, we have three lab assistants. Uh, what is the name here? We have... Uh, Three, okay. We have Esteban Cedillo, okay. Mario, okay. Here we go, right. We have Mario Ramirez, uh, Esteban Cedillo, uh, Renault Cantu in Star County, and we have also another name. His name is Nelly. Also, is available there in case you need some help. Uh, if they are available, they are usually here on the right-hand corner. As I mentioned to you before, if you text them in the evening, uh, post a question there, right, in the 4348, or in general questions, right, uh, or in general chat, uh, the, the lab assistant will respond as soon as possible in the morning. Okay, or I may jump into it in the morning too. Uh, so, please utilize this uh, Discord uh, since we will be using this uh, for all technical questions and lab helps. Okay, so that is about Discord. Uh, let's talk about uh, how to set up a lab, right? I'm going to ask you to set up a lab in the first week of class right here March 21st 27 uh, you may need to to install this lab uh, Kali Linux Kali Linux 2022 okay uh, some of my video most of my video are in in 2021 okay the concepts are the same so maybe some of the interface slightly different Therefore, it is important that students understand the concept and apply it with the new Kali 2020-2022. Uh, I mean, eventually, I may need to upgrade it to reflect this new Kali Linux. Okay, 
which is the 2022.1 version. So, students need to download this and set this up. And we are going to use VirtualBox, okay? Here also I show you the link, okay? Make sure that if you use VirtualBox to install the extension pack, okay? The extension pack is very important. Otherwise, some of the features will not run, okay? Uh, we will use this later, okay? So at the beginning, in the first in the first few weeks of class, we just need Kali Linux 2022, VirtualBox 6.1, and then this is as an this this VM as a as an attacker machine or attacker machine yes and then we will use the virtual box as a virtualization machine and the metasploitable 2 as a target machine or a victim machine uh, the B web uh, this is a web application uh, VM this is a web application vulnerabilities VM uh, that student may need this in the maybe in the third week or in the fourth week. So in the first week you don't need to install this. Okay, so you can do it later on. Okay, and the Windows Seven also. I think we need this on the the Windows Seven. We probably need in the third week or and on the fourth week. So there are four virtual machine. The Kali as an attacker. Okay. Kali as an attacker and then Metasploitable 2 as a target machine. These are required in the first few weeks. And later on, we may need to install the B-Web, right? Web vulnerable and then uh, Windows 7 as a target machine and possibly Windows 10 because I also have Windows 10 because I'm going to introduce you ransomware, right? Ransomware. So, uh, the information is in here, so please take the time to set it up because it may take a few hours. Uh, some student might already have installed this, okay? So, um, I think I create a link here. Let me see if I have a link, right? Uh, download, download, uh, vweb. Um, Let me see if I have set it up here. I'm going to give you a link here, right? I have my... Let me show it to you. I'm going to show you this link. I'm going to, I'm going to share you a folder. Uh, let me see. Let me share. Let me share you a folder here. Okay. Student have the option to install the VM from a scratch, or I also have a operating system images here. I have Linux. I have BWeb. I have Metasploitable. I have Windows Seven. Right. All of these are available. Let me share you the link here. Right. I'm going to share you the link, show this action, copy this link, right? Yeah, yeah. Copy, let me see. Let me see. I'm going to copy this link. I'm going to copy this link. Make sure that you need to have an STC email address. Otherwise, you will not be able to, to have this one. I'm going to copy this and post it the link here, right? Uh, here, lab setup. This. Uh, OS image link. Mm 
must use STC account email student account email right there I show you a link here where is this Where is that? Mm. Here, here, right? Here is the link. I send you a link here. Copy and paste, right? This one. Copy and paste this link. Right click and go to that link. Here we go. So you will have my access you will have the access to all of them right os link i think i need to give you a little bit more explanation here otherwise Okay, uh, the next thing, uh, I want student to introduce yourself to the class, right, using flip grip. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to click this link and please do introduce yourself to the class, right, CITP 4348 Spring 2022 Mini Master. Join using your STC email again, okay, because everything is tied to the STC email. Uh, here I think I have it in here right hello I am so I have my brief intro so good morning good afternoon and good evening uh, welcome to CITP 4348 uh, cyber security assessment my name is Robert Ho, and I would like to welcome each one of you to the class and hope you have a great semester. All right, so please introduce yourself to the class, your full name, okay? Uh, what are the courses that you take this semester? What are your interests and hobbies uh, that you do during spare time? Or anything that you like to share to the class? Also, perhaps any experience, any IT related experience or IT certification that you might have to the class. We hope that uh, through this flip, flip grip video orientation, uh, video introduction, we can get to know each other uh, in the class so we can communicate well uh, with other students and colleagues in the classroom all right so thank you very much and uh, see you in the next few weeks or days bye okay these are the student introduction using flip grip so don't be shy i know some of you are very shy to introduce yourself using video uh, just briefly discuss about yourself uh, your full name, what are the courses you have taken or you are currently enrolled, what are your IT certification that you have, uh, either A+, Network+, Plus, Security+, Plus, or any other re IT related work experience. Some of you might already in the field, so you just need to take this uh, to move up in the organization and others might Others may be just uh, having uh, academic experience. They don't have any experience yet. So maybe this is a good place to network with other students. All right. So basically the purpose of this is to help each other out since we are in a team. Okay. We can share idea. And for those who have years of experience already, you are welcome to share your knowledge and skills or advice to others in the classroom. Okay, 
So, I think that's about it, right? As far as my video orientation for this class, okay? Uh, I know you are very busy and your time is also valuable and we, res we respect that. Uh, so, in the first two weeks of, in the first week of class, review this folder and then the second week we go to this folder and then the third week we go to this folder and so on. And don't forget to with the start here link folder. Last but not least, if you have any question, please send me email through here, right? And I will answer the email as soon as possible. You can look for my name here, scroll it down, and my name is on the top. This is going to be my personal email unless you go to the all course, course, all course member, then the email will send to the rest of the student. Uh, what else before I let you go? Okay, one more thing, announcement. Please read this announcement every week. I usually send announcement each week on Monday or on Sunday. All right. So here actually I already have the first announcement. Welcome to CITP. Please take a moment to familiar yourself with the course. Visit and complete week one. Right. Uh, in addition, install Discord in your computer. So. Uh, you can contact lab assistant in case you need help on the lab exercise. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day or have a rest of the evening or afternoon. Bye.